think that geography is a study, it's the study of kind of the, the big picture and that's what I like about it is you, you can get really in depth obviously and you can study things at a really micro level but, but overall I feel that the emphasis is on figuring out how things fit together, um, humans in the environment, you know, people in places but also um, the climate system, how does that fit in with, with the biosphere and the hydrosphere and I love seeing those connections and to me geography is all about not just studying in an isolated little spot but understanding how what you care about fits in with other parts of the world. What is geography all about? Uh, I, it's kind of a hard question actually. I think geography is really broad in scope. Um, so it's a variety of things to me. I guess it's about people and places and processes and relationships and it's a really a diverse discipline. So you can look at you know the the physical processes of glaciers, or you can study the spatial distributions of microbreweries. Or like my research, you look at volunteerism in national parks. So there's a lot of different different. Um, aspects to geography. I think it's much more than maps. I think a lot of people think that geography is really about making maps and it's, that's a big part of it but it's so much more than maps. To me personally geography is about studying the environment, studying the interconnectedness of all of the processes that occur around us in the physical world and it's also about studying the relationships between people and the environment and so it has a really diverse scope and it's about the interconnectedness of all of those systems. Well, I see geography as a unifying discipline, taking its wide breadth of specialties, spatial or otherwise, and applying that to the wide questions we have all around the world. But I chose geography because I've always been interested in the human relationship with the environment, so how we influence the environment and how the environment influences us. And I think one of the most interesting things about geography is that it's both an art and a science, so you can look at the physical world and the social world and um, explore it with a variety of different methods, so I think that was really appealing to me. My original reasons for studying geography in my undergraduate degree were uh, my interest in the environment and the world around me and studying natural processes and I was also really interested in the field work so I um, was really actively involved in a lot of outdoor activities and I really enjoyed the geography field schools and field trips in my undergraduate courses. I chose to study geography because I've always been really interested in the natural world, I love to be outdoors and I knew that I wanted to to study something that would, um, I guess it was kind of self-serving. I wanted to study something that would help me understand more about the natural world that I live in, how it works, um, you know, how things fit together. And, and it was more just a personal interest for me, but also something I knew could be a lifelong passion. So geography kind of found me because I started um, through biology and that just didn't quite fit right with me. And then when I eventually started taking some geography classes, it just clicked and, and I knew that this is where I should be, so. At present I'm working as a postdoctoral research fellow and I work in the New Zealand Ice Core program. So um, we're involved with studying and analysing Antarctic ice cores. And uh, I've been there for three years now and I'm just coming to the finish of a three year contract with them. Well, I think um, geography is the closest thing to living inside of a National Geographic magazine. In my experience as a geography student at the U of C, the most exciting and memorable experiences I've had have been doing field work. Um, I've traveled to places that most Canadians will never get to see up on Ellesmere Island and in going through the Northwest Passage on a scientific research vessel. So. I mean, there it was just thrilling, and I, I've seen a polar bear hunting on sea ice in the wild. I've seen, uh, you know, I've had lots of wildlife encounters. Um, camping for work is amazing, and I think that that the unique nature of, of studying geography has allowed me to have all these different experiences. So, definitely um, the best part of my degree. <laughs> the experience that left the biggest imprint on me really as a geography student was my first field work in Antarctica and I had the opportunity to travel to Antarctica as a master's student and that was my first 
opportunity to do field research on my own and the opportunity to be involved in a large project down there studying Antarctic glaciers and just to be given the opportunity to go to that environment and to study those processes was a really amazing opportunity as a master's student and that I guess was the opportunity that set my future career pathway I would say. The most exciting or remarkable experience um, from studying geography? I think for me one of the most exciting things about geography is the opportunity to travel and to meet new people. Um, I think a lot of geographers have a bit of the travel bug so with my research I was able to spend time in Banff National Park and Kajimakujik National Park in Nova Scotia and then at a marine center in Sydney, British Columbia. So lots of different places and lots of interesting people, lots of really interesting conversations with people that are involved in conservation work or um, community-based research in citizen science. So lots of opportunity to travel and meet new people. For new geography students who, who are maybe interested in geography and thinking about um, taking the plunge into doing a geography degree, my recommendation would be just to take a really wide variety of courses. Don't, even though you, you may have an interest, I think it's a good idea to, you know, you might not even know that you're interested in something until you learn a little bit more about it and discover that it's a passion of yours. So I think take a really wide variety of courses, um, challenge yourself, don't, don't just stick with what people tell you is easy or, or easy to get good marks, um, you know, go, go, with your, go with your interests and really push yourself a little bit. And I also think that you should take opportunities that, that are offered to do field work or to work on projects with professors or grad students that you think are interesting because that'll just open up your eyes to what else you could be doing and how wide the world of geography is. I would say if you're thinking about embarking on a career in geography, take as many courses as you can, study a really wide range of things, and then really narrow down your interests. So in my field, for example, if you know that you're interested in physical geography, take as many courses as you can that relate to the area that you're interested in. It might be um, courses in other departments or chemistry, physics, geoscience, all those things really complement geography and give you hard skills that you can use to really develop as a geographer as well. well uh, the field schools are the best opportunity to really uh, experience firsthand what you learn in the classroom. Uh, it does sound cliche, but the world is the best classroom by far. It's uh, a, a great experience. I think that with any program or research project that you need to choose something that you're passionate about. You're going to spend a lot of time and energy towards your research project or put into your program. So it needs to be something that you love. And I think for those that are doing research projects in geography to remember to be patient, that research takes time and it often goes and stops and starts and you'll hit some roadblocks, but it's really a remarkable and enjoyable experience at the end.